Well, hey there, YouTube fellow silver stackers, silver pourers, silver enthusiasts, anyone else who happened to drop in to check out what I've got going on. Thank you. Welcome. Today I am actually kind of between things. I had somebody needed to take a break for a little bit on my state pours, so it gives me a chance to give casting a try here in my kind of little makeshift clay holding mold there. And I'm going to try and see how casting the maze works out. And hopefully it turns out nice and I can get some of these out to a few people who've asked about them. I've got just enough space here, as you can see, for it to fit inside. So, first thing, we'll be glazing a new crucible, new melt dish. So, I'll get to going on that. And we will come right back. And I'll show you how the dish looks. Then get some silver melted, get the clay packed in, and a mold pressed in. So hold tight, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we got the dish all glazed. You can hear it cooling as the borax has kind of formed a glass on there. Kind of texture is all starting to crack. I don't know. Let's, can you see it in there? Maybe if it focuses, it doesn't really want to focus on there because it's too shiny. There, you can kind of see a little bit of it in there. So, we'll let that cool off while we get the clay ready. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of this, so bear with me. Uh, anyone who has done their fair share, let me know if you see something I should do different. But, I'm just going off what I've seen before and what little I've done. I'm going to take some out and kind of chop it up. You want to not have air pockets in there once you get to the point of actually pouring and making or pressing in your shape that you're going to cast since air pockets wouldn't quite give you the look you're going for. And you just kind of want to break it all up make sure it's all beat up and not too clumpy either. Here. I don't know if this is enough to fill up this little box, but we'll find out. Probably going to need a little bit more. Maybe not, actually, now that I look at this. I'm only doing half of this. I'm not doing the full both sides where you get both halves. I'm only going to do the top side or bottom side, whatever, however you want to look at it. Just going to push it all in here by hand at first and then grab the hammer and tap it down at the end which we're pretty much at that point now you don't really from what i've seen want to really smash it in there you just want it nice and light taps again what i've seen you don't want to just smash it in there because then it's too hard and you can't make your impression in the clay or in the sand whichever you're using you just take whatever you have. In this case, I've got a sawzall blade. Just, I'm using the back side, so it's the smooth side, flat side, straight side. And scraping it off level. So, one of the next things you want to do is use something to keep it from sticking to your piece. And, oh, I just spilled a little bit, but in this case, I've got some cornstarch here. Kind of spread that around. I don't know if there's a point where you use too much, but there's probably a point where you can use not enough. So I'm just going to make sure I use enough here, kind of cover everything. You can put some on your piece as well, so hopefully it all comes off. I'm going to put some here on this maze. And then we're going to go ahead and press it in here and see what we come up with. Now, I don't know if I can get this to be as big as the mold is. But I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to push it down here evenly if I can. And it's not wanting to go anywhere. I may have put too much clay in there and it's packed in there too tight. But I'm just going to keep giving it a little bit here and there. 
happen in there. Looks like it's down more on one side, but that could also be how I poured this one. Go ahead and tap this in here. And you know I'm using the rubber side so I don't mess this up any. It doesn't look like anything broke, so that's good. Need a little bit better setup here, but using what I've got for now, I think we're about to, as deep as I can get this in here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And there's what it looks like. That doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to get this here kind of cleaned up and come right back with some heated up silver and give it a pour. See how we look. Hold tight. See you in a moment. Okay, I've got about four ounces melted here ready to go. And let's see how this turns out. If I feel like it, I do have my can to cover up the top. Trying to get these little spots off of here. It may not happen. Well, that wasn't quite enough silver. I needed at least Probably needed the full five ounces that these were before in the graphite mold before it broke. So we'll have to do this again. So not done yet. We'll give this one more shot. See how it turns out. See that little bit right there is something I really don't want to have happen because I don't like it doing all that final little bubble up right at the end where it gives you weird formation in the middle so hold tight we will be right back well there's how the first one turned out I said didn't quite get the whole impression filled and then this funky spot here at the end which I really don't like when it does that so we'll give this another go here see how it turns out add another ounce and hopefully that will be enough so hold tight, I'll see you in a moment, I'll get the mold ready again, and give it another shot. Alright, I am ready for pour number two, attempt number two here, trying to cast this maze bar. The silver is ready, I did add an ounce, so we shall see if that's enough. That looks good. Cover it and come back in a moment and see how it looks. See you soon. Well, there is attempt number two. This one didn't turn out too bad. It is a little funky texturing here on the back. Kind of dimpled, almost like a golf ball. So, don't know what we can do about cleaning that up, but... We will throw it in the tumbler a little bit later this afternoon or this evening and see how it turns out. So you have to hold tight on the final of this, how it looks. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'll do something else. So hold tight. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, we've got the silver melted here. I'm going to try one of these here in more of a two-ounce bar. So haven't done one for a while. Let's see how it looks. So I just got a bit of flux on the top, so I may melt that down again. Pour the rest in there. 
and we'll cool these off and come back in a moment. Okay, one last shot here into this mold to see if I can get rid of all that little borax spotting I keep getting. I have a nice clean bar. turned out better. I've got the kind of funny stuff how it does that cooling on top, but I'm going to see what I can do about maybe working quite a bit on that one and get it to be mirrored maybe. So we'll see how that turns out. Here's what it looks like for right now. Kind of real fine cooling lines around the edge and then that spot down the middle but I'm gonna work on this a bit and see if I can get rid of that and make this nice and smooth so who knows we'll see how it looks see you soon alright I figured why not do one large hexagon here see how it turns out so let's see that This one, I got some real fine lines with, and a slight crater to it. Always, always a great sound there. Nice chunky bar. Dry it off here just a touch, and there you go. Nice, tight, fine lines there, so that turned out well. I don't know if I'll keep this or if somebody will see it and like it, but we'll put that in the tumbler for a minute or two tonight and let it shine up nice and bright. So I will see you soon and show you how everything looks. All right, so here they are after going through the tumbler. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me show these here real quick turn the scale on see what we've got here this was the smaller one or the smaller kind of rectangle bar he it said it's got that funky way they cool there on top but this is probably one of the cleanest bottoms to a bar I've had so far so we'll check the weight 3.22 ounces there I, These I don't know if I'll keep or not I'll throw the video up here see if anybody likes them if so and stamp them and keep them But here's my lightning bar Right there I may redo this one just because it's got this funky black spot here in the middle that I couldn't even get away Even tumbling it didn't go anywhere That is at 1.33 ounces, but again, I'd probably get rid of that because of the issue there. And then got this big chunky hexagon here. It is 5.34 troy ounces and real fine pore lines there. We'll get this stamped up as well. Probably later today, but we shall see. And then here's how the maze turned out. A little bit of copper report also, but 498, 497, 498, the cast maze. So this just might work out with this, even though it broke on me, though. Now that I've got this cleaned up, it doesn't quite look as bad as I thought it would with this dimpling. It's, like I said before, almost like a golf ball. So that's how things worked out 
for this session. We'll see about doing some more pours on, well, it is Sunday now. The video started on Saturday, but we'll see about some more pours today. But for now, that will do it. Thank you all for stopping by. Like, share, comment, subscribe. All greatly appreciated. I will catch you next time. A.G. Ender signing off. Have a good night.